guys and welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl, Rika, and Big Boy Summer here, bringing you another episode of Hot or Not. Welcome to this episode of Hot or Not, where we judge anime based on only its first episode. Today, Dragon's Dogma is in the hot seat, and we're going to judge the hell out of it. We'll then be back for a part two to see if our Hot or Not verdict holds up. We'll be looking at the creativity, entertainment, character development, world building and execution to see if this anime is hot or not. You know what it is. Let's get right into it. Creativity. This one's mad for me. So the only weapons that they've got are swords, daggers and arrows. But some dude can get brought back to life. And this new chick looks like she's got magic. Yeah. <laughs> um... It's very creative, like, like probably not in the way that they want to be creative, but <laughs> came out of left field that kind of feel like I've played this story before. <laughs> it's the same sort of story, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, you are the chosen one, or oh, you came out of the dragon's egg, or this, that, and the other. It's like, very creative. <laughs> Entertainment. The animation's really, really poor. That kind of ruined a little bit of my entertainment just because it's not that they couldn't do it the opening was like quite well done in terms of animation considering they spent most of their budget on the opening and then just said f everything else well for me entertainment the only thing that was keeping me watching was lewis um his rudeness yeah he needed a slap <laughs> But his rudeness and his brash and bravery was what I was watching it for. Olivia was a bit flat. Ethan was a bit one-dimensional. Lewis. Lewis was the only guy who had a bit of life for him and I kind of wanted to know what was going on there. I actually really liked um, Lewis as well. He brought a lot to the party for me, as well as the soldiers. Um, the soldiers gave me a little bit of Attack on Titan vibes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah because they haven't had to fight for so long. They kind of just take a little back seat. They're drinking and, and not really preparing the way that they need to because they kind of think, you know, it's never gonna happen really. So I did like that element. Character development. Again, it's Lewis for me. He was the most well-rounded character. He brought a lot of humor to it. He didn't give a damn. He didn't even care that the soldiers could overhear him back talking and that he could get thrown in jail for it. He just kept going. He was like, yeah. And <laughs> he was funny. I really, really enjoyed his character. I think they did really well with his character. Ethan's character building, again, I feel like I've just seen it somewhere else before. You've got the guy who has dreams and really it turns out to be pretty much a premonition. There's nothing really about his character that felt solid. There was nothing intrinsic to him that I could say oh yeah I like this character and and Olivia as well I felt like she was just there to be the mother figure for Lewis and to also bring up a little bit of Ethan's backstory where he's lost his parents and I just didn't feel like there was anything else but I really did like Lewis's character. Ruka what do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> Everything you said is correct except for Olivia's baby, that had bare character fam, had more character than Olivia, and more character than Ethan for me fam, because, like, on a level, Lewis all the way, I was team Lewis, even right up until the point where he got eaten. I knew he was going to get eaten Hello. just that way as well. You, you literally called it, and I was like, ah, they can't do that, that's too predictable, yep, there it is. World building. The world was... A normal primitive world where they have villages there's no real transportation apart from I'm guessing horses everyone if you don't hunt you don't eat so you had people fishing and then obviously you saw Ethan being the only person to not fish he hunts because something happened on the water I'm guessing that's how he lost his parents and he doesn't want to go I've, I've got to guess and infer to, to drag some life into the character the world was done quite well. It was believable that it was a village, that it was set sometime before technology. Big boy summer? <laughs> nah fam, don't call me bro. <laughs> Look, I've never played Dungeons and Dragons. 
but I know a little bit about the game and I, I kind of always wanted to play, but that's a side note. Let me catch some dungeon master and tell him to go to these developers and teach them how to build the world. Because unfortunately, this was trash. This was the most basic generic world that you could possibly come up with. A medieval Dungeons and Dragons vibe without any sort of uniqueness to it. The only unique thing that happened is that some dragon came in and said this village is trash. Let me burn it up. Do you get what I mean? Like, come off it, bro. World building? Hmm. I could not get past the fact that the soldiers have been preparing for generations. <laughs> and all they have is arrows a hundred years later. Why did the dragons even leave? They should have just wiped out everyone. You're telling me you've been working for 100 years to prepare for a specific event, which is a return of the dragons. And you didn't even know that their skin would be impenetrable to arrows. You didn't try to develop better technology. You know, plot yeah. execution. I don't know. I don't know what the plot is. I feel like maybe it's that the dragon has come and murdered all of Ethan's family and now that he has come back from the dead and doesn't have a heart and somehow being strong enough or powerful enough to defeat a dragon and that's why the dragon ate his heart. Maybe the plot is not what we are seeing in the first episode and we're going to see more development after this episode because we've just been introduced to a new character who is a pawn and is going to protect Ethan. Uh, the graphics could be improved. I thought, you know, they might be able to do something there. The music was good choices for the little bit, even though I heard the same song multiple times. The script was... The script let me know what was happening. To the verdict! <laughs> do we need to do this? <laughs> Creativity, hot or not. Um, yeah, it's a not for me. I've heard this story before. I've heard this story many, many times. And I've heard this story better. I'm not gonna waste your time. It's a not. <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> Thanks, Ricky, for saying I'm wasting their time. Um, in terms of entertainment, it's actually hot for me. I wanna know what happens next. So, that's the only thing it's got going for it. Oh. It's not from me. It was not entertaining. Character development. All right, guys. I've been clowning on this anime the whole time, but it's actually a hot for me. Only on a technical basis. I wanted to see a character be developed, and I did. I got it from the beginning to the end of the character, and that was Lewis. He was developed and then he was ended perfectly. And if it wasn't for that, this wouldn't be a hot, but like it's a hot for me. Lewis saved the day. And this was also a hot for me. Based off of his character, he really carried this whole episode. It's a shame that we won't get to see his character more, but it's a hot based off of him. World building. No. <laughs> Just no, it's a lot, it's a lot. Not, 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 not. Yeah, it's, it's a not. Like, it was not good. Like, it was, I was not impressed. Like, I was not, I was actually impressed with how bad it was. <laughs> it was not good. It was not good. Like, it wasn't plot execution. No. <laughs> Your graphics are trash, your music was okay but repetitive, and your script, oh my god, your script, how flat can you be? I mean, every single generic, basic, predictable thing that could happen in an episode like this happened. The only thing that shocked me was, not the fact that Lewis got killed, because we saw it, but the fact Olivia got killed. How was that shocking? I've never seen a pregnant woman. <laughs> been killed like this before that's the only thing she was pregnant that was what was shocking he dreamt it in the beginning like he, it was foreshadowing i still did not see it happening <laughs> i was like nah they can't do that come on she's pregnant bro this anime pulls no punches i was like yeah you know what that is it but really and truly come on is that your plot execution bro it's a not fun the plot execution was a not and this is based on the dragon itself, the fact that 
the dragons have been gone for 100 years and nothing was told to us about how they actually left and why they actually left and why they felt that the dragons could possibly come back again and how everyone survived then the dragon just appears out of absolute nowhere seemingly for no reason over an extremely tiny village which just made no sense and then the dragon has intelligence he can speak and yet he chose to randomly burn up the village and only we, we only saw him eat like one person there's like what is even the purpose of the dragon i just don't get it i don't if he has such intel why is he here why is he doing this and why did he decide to rip out the heart of ethan and he seemed to also understand that Ethan would be brought back because he told him, oh, don't forget that if you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back into you. Like, what a lame line as well. It was not impressive. Like, this was a knot and, and the plot execution was the biggest knot for me. Like, it just, I just was not happy with the way anything was done. Didn't like it. And I'm so sad that I'm going to have to watch the rest of this anime. Ruka, are you blind? The plot execution was the worst thing for you. The anime was the worst thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sitting here and I know I'm laughing and joking about how bad this anime is, but really and truly, Ruka's right. I don't want to put this up because I don't want to watch the rest. told you not to do this to us. <laughs> but you chose to do this to us both. But they had dragons, don't we? They had dragons. I've never seen an anime with dragons that I've actually enjoyed. I'm sorry. You're I've not. watched a few. And the only reason why I gave Burn the Witch a chance was because it's in the same universe as Bleach. And I liked Bleach. I know some of you guys don't like Bleach. Leave me alone. What? Yeah, some people really don't. I'm, Bro, I'm it's, feeling bleach. It's one of the best shonen ever created, fam. I don't care. If you don't like bleach, come up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> come at me, bro. <laughs> no, I really like bleach, and I thought that I was going to get something that showed me that they were connected, but I didn't get that in the first episode. Maybe it will come in later. And that's why I gave that a chance and why I was so excited. But I've watched other anime with dragons, and I've never enjoyed them. What about Rick and Morty? What? <laughs> Stop. Stop it right now. You dragon. <laughs> okay, okay. Look, guys. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Before you do the ending. Guys, can you let me know some anime that have dragons in it that is actually good? Because I, I kind of need to redeem myself here because I failed. <laughs> God, Ruka, you got this now. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with us? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Peace.